Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven67854 Gaming, and welcome to a lovely Godot tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to record at a higher resolution with Movie Maker uh, than maybe your monitor allows. So this particular machine here only has 1080p screens. It has dual 1080p screens, but still, you know, not as nice as the 4K workstation. So what if I wanted to record 4k on this machine and didn't want to say you know swap over to the workstation well that's actually really easy so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a really quick scene so i'm going to hit 3d scene here i'm going to change this to world I suppose i really don't actually have to create a mesh instance and we're going to make a new box mesh and I'm going to make a new standard material there. So it's got a nice even consistency to it there. And I guess I'll just make this 10 by 10. Doesn't have to be very big. All right, I'm gonna name this to floor. And then what I'm gonna do is I am going to add in a directional light. And just gonna kind of turn it over there a little bit and turn on some shadows. Now the next thing I'm gonna do, and we're setting this up because Godot has like a default, uh, you know, world environment and light setup, but we want our uh, we want our scene to have a little bit of a look to it. So I'm gonna change the tone map to filmic because I like the filmic one, and I'm gonna create a new uh, sky, and it will be a physical sky material. And I guess I'll turn on Sissel as well and SSAO. I'm just gonna leave everything default. We're not, we're not really all that concerned about a fair bit of this stuff. So I'm gonna make a new node and I'm gonna call it, I guess, boxes. And now I am going to save this scene in Movie Maker One, and I'm gonna call it. Uh, I guess I'll call it Movie Maker One. The name really isn't that important. Now we're going to make a new scene here, and I'm going to call this FizzBox. And keep in mind, you guys can use a pre-existing scene. You can set up, you know, any kind of scene you like, um, like a box mesh there. Actually, we're just going to have, uh, you know, some cubes that just kind of like, you know, fall down. So we're going to make a rigid dynamic body. I'm gonna set the mass to 20, just has a bit more weight to it. And then we're gonna do a collision shape 3D. And we're just gonna make it a generic box. And then for the actual uh, material for the box here, I'll just make it like a reddish color. Again, you know, doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna save it in a prefabs folder. Okay, and then I'll close that because everything should be fine and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually you know what it's uh I'm just gonna have it go in a nice and beautiful stack here again this tutorial is not about you know setting up a simple scene here and then we'll make a camera I'll move it up to the top and then I'll hit control two to split the viewport into two and I will just pull it back and angle it down slightly and then I will just hit play and then select the current one and uh, it might help if I create a mesh uh, a collision mesh of some kind okay perfect so that actually didn't really like fall over or anything due to you know it's pretty funny i'm gonna hit control one to go back into uh okay and now we're gonna play it again i just wanted to land and then wow it's like the collision is is too perfect <laughs> i like that what are i wonder how far we can actually take this i don't want this to be like the world's longest tutorial here there we go wow that's just gonna, okay. 
Alright, once more, and then... Eh, rip. Okay, the collision sort of broke there for a second, but that'll do. Okay, so, how do we record, you know, something, uh, you know, much, much uh, bigger? And obviously, as you guys can already tell, there'll be chapters, so you could skip the scene setup portion and get straight to the movie maker portion. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go to movie writer. Why do I keep calling it movie maker? Well, I guess it is called that. Well, movie writer. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go into E on my drive. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it movie maker one, I suppose. And then I'm going to set it to be a PNG. And then what I'm going to do is call it, I guess, movie one name really isn't too important there and we'll leave everything else here alone we don't need to worry about mjpeg quality because that is for avi files now the next most important part window so what we're going to want to do here is we're going to set this to 3840 by 2160 and then we're going to scroll down and we're going to set the stretch mode to viewport and the aspect ratio to ignore and then we're going to go over here and check this box here and then what we're going to do is we're going to hit play. Now, it's going to get kind of weird. Um, and it is it is actually moving. Like, you can't, you know, obviously, of course, you know, you can't see stuff very well. Uh, but, for example, this is what it looks like. And it's currently on frame 14 in uh, movie writer mode. It massively slows down the frame rate but it is actually moving ever so, so ever so slightly. You can kind of see it there. Um, but what I want to show you, and the most important part here, is you can see that the dimensions of each PNG is 3840 by 2160. So from here, what you would do is, of course, you would play out the full uh you know sequence until you know you hit however many images you need you can run it through something like virtual dub or uh, ffmpeg and you could spit it out into a, an avi file or whatever kind of movie file you want and you can see they very much break there um in slow motion that looks kind of dorky but yeah that's actually fixable but it's fine for the sake of this tutorial um, anyhow, and then from there, you can convert it into a, uh, MP4 and upload it somewhere, a GIF, you know, whatever you want it to be. Um, and yeah, that's it. That is, that is, it's literally that simple to, uh, you know, record at a higher resolution and then, you know, on a screen where you don't have the resolution. And this is the method that I've been using to record the shorts because, if you've seen the shorts, then you know that the shorts are very, um, they're 1080 by 1920, and I'm not turning any of my monitors into that portrait view at all, ever. So, yeah. And then, you know, when you're done, of course, you just go over to here and you just stop it. And then I'll just open this up and we can just play through the sequence of images here. And you can see, oh no, it hit. And then it wobbles and breaks because the collision mashes into each other. And then it bounces out. That is fixable, by the way. And there you go. And then it repeats because we only went about two seconds worth. Okay, so thanks everyone for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hope this video was helpful. If you need any help, you know, join the Discord. I'd be more than happy to help uh, as well. Um, if you'd like to support this channel, there's a membership link in the description and the join button, and your support is greatly, greatly appreciated, and you get early access to upcoming content and all sorts of fun stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.